Hi, I'm Bob Mincer, saxophonist, bass clarinetist, electronic wind instrument player. I play with a band called the Yellow Jackets, occasionally lead my own quartet, big band leader, and I'm here to hopefully help you to play the saxophone better. <laughs> You might divide music, at least in terms of notes and how notes are approached, if you divide them into attack, sustain, and decay, you are being fairly thorough about the different options you have in terms of treatment of the notes and the way you play that ultimately uh, determine your style. Might as well start with attack. That's what comes first, typically. The way you start a note will determine many qualities of that given note. If you start a note with a breath attack, whereas you just start the breath going where the tongue is not touching the reed at all, that's a certain kind of sound, like this. Now, if you were to put your tongue on the reed, get your air column ready to go, remove the tongue, and allow the reed to start vibrating, it would be a more pronounced attack. There would be a, a, a certain clarity or emphasis to that point at which the note starts. Now, if you were to take your tongue off the reed in an in a intense way where there was a good deal of air built up behind that uh, removal of the tongue, you'd get even more of an accent. It would sound like this. And then you could go even further. Where there's a real, a real uh, sort of ping or a very percussive thing that happens on the beginning of the note. So <clears throat> it's advisable to take an inventory of all the various possibilities you have in terms of attack. Um, uh, typically, if you're doing what's called legato tonguing, it's um, a light or da, like da would be perhaps the sound that, that you might think of when you're playing with that kind of uh, tongue.